What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin from KT Music Group bringing you another reaction video. All right, um, Age Randall 34 wants me to shine a light on PYT, a demo, or the demo by Michael Jackson, the GOAT. All right, uh, these demos are always interesting. You never know what you're gonna get. I know what P PYT from the Thriller album sounds like. Heard it thousands of times, right? But I have no idea what the well, I wonder what the nuance difference is going to be with the uh, demo. They're usually a little bit rougher around the edges, and that makes it, I, I like those. So without further ado, let's get into it. Y'all know what to do. Check out the merch, leave a reaction request. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our Smooth Jazz Funk Reaction Channel right here. All right, we're back. Without further ado, let's get into PYT. Uh, demo, shout out to Sin Nelson for giving us this, uh, uh, this, uh, huh? Damn. I mean, this, um, the demo, PYT demo. Let's go. I don't remember that at all. Right off top, that sounds nothing like PYT that I know, okay? So, uh, I, it's interesting. And like I, uh, like I said earlier, it's, it's rough around the edges, right off top, let's go. I mean, that's a whole lot different. You know, I'm used to PYT, pretty young thing, love it and loving, to the loving care. I'm used to that. So this is, I like it. It's almost a different song. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. That's, that sounds like Stevie Wonder. That's Stevie Wonder style synth bass playing. Uh, tell me, tell me what y'all think. It sounds a whole lot like Stevie Wonder could be playing a synth bass line. It's probably not, but it sounds like him. Let's go. And he broke it down. Yes. I hear you would block. Bye, 
like this a lot. that a lot uh, I, I loved it it's a totally different song this is the first time hearing I thought it was gonna be um, yeah I thought it was gonna sound similar to the 103 it's a completely different song I wonder but I wonder is how it went from this version to the PYT that we heard on the thrill that we hear on the thriller album um, you know maybe they both were demos they say like, all right there's a PYT with this energy that we just heard, and then there's this other PYT. They probably were both demos. This is my guess. They probably were both demos. And uh, between Quincy and Mike, they decided together probably uh, to choose the one that be, that got on a Thriller album, which was the right choice. But I'm gonna tell y'all, to me, this is a 10 out of 10. I don't care if it's a demo. I don't care if it didn't get on uh, Thriller, because I, you know, Mike be getting busy anyway. Mike's demos are better than. Did most most artists uh, best stuff flat out? Cause it might be getting busy. The background vocals, the swells, the big sound, the Stevie Wonder style synth bass, and they killed it. B Y T. I give it a ten out of ten. Uh, a plus, two thumbs up. Mike killed it. Even he even kills the demos. Y'all know what to do. Check out the merch. Leave a reaction request. And as I always like to say, good music is in the ear of the beholder. Great music is timeless. I don't care if it's a demo. It's a beast. It's timeless. If it had got out there, it'd be a smash along with everything else. Like I said back then, if they had... I haven't heard all the uh, demos from the Thriller album. Yeah, if the rest of them are good, if there are more demos, uh, feel free to add to request that I... Um, react to him and I'll get to him eventually all right cuz I, I I'm loving Michael Jackson demos when I started this, I don't keep talking but when I started this I never knew there about all these hidden gems you know demos and unreleased tracks I never knew that I never knew that all right so let's get on out here you know y'all know what to do keep that funk coming keep that funk coming till the next time y'all take care peace <music>